What is going on guys? Min Sandy back here. Uh, today we got a review on the Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero by Worldbox. Uh, now this company I've never heard before. Um, I actually saw some pictures on Big Bag Toy Store and uh, I thought it looked really good. And then I saw the review by Firestarter and uh, I was like, you know what? I have to get it. It looks pretty good. It looks almost like a Hot Toys quality. So uh, I got them in a few days ago. And I just want to share with you guys here. So there he is. That's the box in the back. So let's just take a quicker look. Um, if you take a look there, he uh, what? Great detail. If you look at his mask. There's a uh, almost look like bowel damage, worn out. His armor, his faux leather with the buttons. Looks absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at his feet. Great posability. Uh, he does lack a little bit on his shoulders. But other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, you could actually see the veins on his uh, shoulders as well. Uh, let's take a quick look in the back. Let's take a quicker look in the uh, close up there. I don't know if you can see that. He has blue eyes. Looks very good. He does come with a few accessories. Hold on one second, put this down. And uh, accessory is pretty nice. Um, the first accessory is you get this skull. Uh, I mean, it looks really pretty gory. You see like the slimy shine to it, uh, articulates the jaw, um, if you look closely you can actually even see like the flesh, it's kind of cool, fits on a ball joint, and also comes with uh, a spinal cord, and you just uh, basically snap it on and you get that, it's pretty neat comes with this uh, neck part here let's take a look there all the cartilage and the bone is freaking awesome uh, and this ball joint I believe could fit most or some of the um, one six scale heads on there so yeah you can pop the, some heads off and then put it on here and make it look like he's doing uh, fatality ripping people's heads off it's pretty neat and then you get his sword I don't know if you can see it but like there's like this glittery sheen to it it's pretty nice actually breaks into three pieces uh, one there one there then he comes with uh, for the hands he comes with a closed fist a grasping so uh, he's like grasping the um, the spinal cord I'm assuming then uh, this hand I believe is for his sword and he also comes with this uh, this uh, effect here you basically put this around a 1-6 scale figure around the waist and then his sword will actually go through here, there's a peg here and here so it makes it look like he's like stabbing him through and uh, you know so it's a pretty cool effect, I like it not bad so yeah I mean for, for the price point uh, it's really good uh, Worldbox is doing uh, I mean with the way they're doing with this figure, uh, I hope they continue. They're, they're, it's, it's awesome. Their next figure, I believe, is Kung Lao. If you check out Big Bad Toy Store, uh, you see some images there. I do wish they would come out uh, Scorpion first because, you know, Sub-Zero, Scorpion. Scorpion is my favorite character. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's bring out some other figures for some comparisons. Um, I'll bring out the... Uh, Hot Toys, Superman 3, Evil Superman version. Let me just stand us Sub-Zero straight up here. Alright, as you can see, Christopher Reeves is a tad bit taller. Whoops. He is a little bit taller. Then, we can bring out the huge... Man of Steel, as you see there, I mean, Man of Steel is bigger than your average Hot Toys. Right there. 
Then I want to uh, try on the uh, special effects for you to see. So I'm just going to put the effects on Superman. And then you can see what that's all about. So you basically, this is my first time doing this. I haven't done this before. So you basically take it, put it around the figure like so. Let's move the cape. All right, then you take one part of the sword and put it right here. Right there. Then you can take the other end and put it oops. Put it right there. Plug this back in. Man, it, it does not want to stay in. But yeah, as you can see, the sword effect goes right through. Pretty cool. Just want to show that there. They got the splattering effect. So yeah, you pretty much clamp around any 1/6 scale waist, and uh, you get that effect there. It's pretty cool. Yep. Alright, so let's get back to this figure. <laughs> So, um, if you are a Mortal Kombat fan, if you like Sub-Zero, highly suggest you pick him up before his price goes up. I was hearing rumors that, uh, another Mortal Kombat game is coming out. Um, so, I'm pretty sure some of these figures, their price is going to go high, man. So, if y'all want to pick them up, do it. Won't regret it. Got the buttons there. So yeah, this is a, a quick review on the Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero by World Box. And this is the back of the box. Alright. And uh, just to give a little teaser, next week I will be reviewing, if you guys know, this symbol here. If you know what that symbol is, you know what's coming. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you later.